Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will talk about how to solve linear inequalities in one variable. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here are examples of linear inequalities in one variable. Now what is the difference between linear equation and linear inequality in terms of values of x? In linear equation, what we have there is that we can get an exact or one possible value of x. Here, for linear inequality, there, there is a possibility that the value of x is more than one, and then it goes infinite. So let's start with item number one for you to realize what I'm saying. Now let me copy first the given inequality, x plus five is less than 12. Now let me read again the given symbol, this one is read as less than. Again, less than. So to solve this inequality, we need to transpose plus 5 to the other side of the inequality. It would become x. Then copy the symbol. 12. Then from plus 5, that would be minus 5. And as you can see, we will copy x. Then less than 12 minus 5. That is equal to 7. And this is the answer for item number one. Now, let me explain first, what does it mean if we have x is less than seven? For x is less than seven, the value of x is not seven. The values of x are those numbers less than seven. Example, six, five, four, three, and so on going down. And also, the values of x includes the fractions or the decimals that are less than seven. Okay, so there are possible, there are multiple values of x in this given inequality. Those are the solutions. Now let's move on with item number two. For number two, we have 3x minus four is greater than or equal to eight. Now, Transpose 4 to the other side, copy 3x, and then copy the symbol. Let me have this and teach you how to read this one. This one is, by the way, greater than or equal. Again, greater than or equal. 3x is greater than or equal to 8. Then from minus 4, that would be plus 4. We have 3x is greater than or equal to 8 plus 4, which is equal to 12. And then, same process, divide the whole inequality by 3. Cancel this one, cancel this one. You have your x is greater than or equal to 12 over 3, which is equal to 4. Now, this is the answer or the solution set for this inequality. Now, what does it mean if we have x is greater than or equal to 4? Since we have this bar sign under the greater than symbol, meaning 4 is included. Unlike here, in the first example, we don't have the bar sign under it. That's why 7 is not included. So we have here x is greater than or equal to 4, meaning it will start from 4 and going up. Those are the possible values of x, okay? Now let's have item number three. Let's continue our discussion. We have negative 2x plus 7 is greater than 3. Same process, transpose 7 to the other side. We have negative 2x is greater than 3. Then we have minus 7. So copy negative 2x is greater than 3 minus 7, that is negative 4. And as you can see, we have here negative 2 besides x, meaning we would divide the whole inequality by negative 2. Now we can cancel this out, cancel this out, and take note of this, guys. Always remember this, eh? whenever you are multiplying or dividing an inequality, by negative, we need to reverse the symbol. We will copy x 
and this symbol from greater than, this will become less than. Since we have divided the entire inequality by negative. So x is less than negative 4 divided by 2, or negative 2, that would be positive 2. And this is the inequality answer for item number 3. Now, what does it mean? Meaning the values of x are those numbers, fractions, or decimals that are less than 2. As simple as that. Now, let's move on with the last two examples here. So we have x over 3 minus 2 is less than or equal to 4. So as you can see, for this kind of inequality, we have here our denominator 3. So for us to solve this one, for me, eh, my step is that I would eliminate our denominator 3. How? I would multiply the entire inequality by the denominator 3. Now, I will multiply this one. This will become 3x over 3 minus 3 times negative 2. That would be negative 6 minus 6 is greater than or equal. And I will multiply this one and this one. It will result or the product is 12. As you can see, in this case, we can cancel this out and cancel this out. What we have now is x minus 6 is less than or equal to 12. And as you can see, for this part, guys, we can simply transpose negative 6 to the other side. It will become x is less than or equal to 12. Then this is negative 6, that is plus 6. So our x now is x is less than or equal to 18. So you know what to do. You know how to interpret this inequality. So let me give you the idea. The values of x are those numbers started from 18 since we have the bar sign and lower than 18. Okay, so let's continue with number 5. For number 5, we have 2x minus 5 over 4 greater than 3. Same process with item number 1, since we have the denominator of 4, we need to divide the whole inequality by 4, or multiply the inequality by 4. So we, will, we multiply this as a shortcut. We can simply cancel this out, cancel this out. We have 2x minus 5 on the left side, and for the right side, the man, 3 times 4, that is greater than 12. Transpose 5 to the other side, we have 2x is greater than 12 plus 5. So we have 2x is greater than 17. Divide the whole inequality by 2. Cancel, cancel. Your x is greater than 17 over 2. And this is the final answer. So guys, as you can see, I allowed 17 over 2 because it's already simplified. But if your teacher asks you to express your answer in decimal, you can express 17 over 2 as x is greater than 8.5. So these are the possible answers. So guys, that's it. I hope you learned something from this video on how to solve linear inequalities in two variables. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at the hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat and bye-bye!